The story begins with Mary Melanie faithfully waiting for her husband, Patrick, to come home from his job as a detective. Mary, who is six months pregnant and happy in her marriage, she eagerly watches the clock watch Jesus. When Patrick arrives, she is ready to hang up his coat, prepare a drink for him, and sit in silence with him as he rests. Mary, who is alone in the house during the day, this after-work ritual is one she looks forward to. However, as Mary attempts to care for her husband, Patrick brushes off her effort and drinks more than usual and declares that he has something to tell her. While a nervous Mary scrutinizes him, Patrick tells her that he is leaving her. So the narrator leaves out the details. Uh, it becomes clear that Patrick still plan to, to take care of her financially. But their marriage is still over. Mary, who is in disbelief, decides to act as if nothing has happened and fetch a frozen leg of lamb from the cellar to prepare for their supper. When Patrick tells her not to bother and begins to leave, Mary suddenly swings the frozen meat at the back of Patrick's head and kills him. Once Mary realizes that her husband is dead, she begins to think rapidly of how to protect herself and thus her unborn child from the penalty of murder. She puts the meat into the oven and while it's beginning to cook, she practices her aspiration and voice and goes out to a nearby grocery store and chats amiably with Sam, the grocer, about what to buy for her husband dinner. On her way home, she purposefully acts as if everything is normal and then is shocked to discover Patrick's body on the floor and begins to cry. Distraught, she calls the police and two policemen, Jack Noonan and O'Malley, friends and colleagues of Patrick arrive. Mary, maintaining her fake it, claims that she went out to the store and came back to find Patrick died. As a detective arrives and asks her question, her premeditated chat with Sam is revealed to be her alibi and she is able to elude suspicion. The policeman sympathizes with Mary and attempts to comfort her. Despite Sergeant Nonan's offer to bring her elsewhere, Mary decides to stay in the house while the police search for the murder weapon. Jack Nunan revealed to Mary that the culprit probably used a blunt metal object and that finding the weapon will lead to the murderer. After nearly three fruitless hours of searching in and around the house for the weapons, the policemen are no closer to finding the murder weapon and never suspect that it could be the frozen meat cooking in the oven. Mary is able to persuade the tired, hungry and frustrated policemen to drink some whiskey and eat the leg of lamb that by now has finished cooking. As the men eat the evidence in the kitchen, Mary Yevers drops from another room, giggling when one of the men theorizes that the murder weapon is right under our very nose. What is the theme of the story? The main theme and lamb to the slaughter is concerned with how we overlook the true nature of a person or situation when we allow preconceived notions and cloud our judgment. For instance, you should be able to pick out a wolf dress in sheep, uh, sheep clothing from the rest of the flock fairly easily. But if you ignore the obvious and, and accept the wolf as a sheep because it looks white and fluffy, you've been dark, just like the detective investigating the death of Patrick Melody. What is the most surprising part in the story? The most surprising part is when Mary killed her own husband with a lamb leg because I must reader didn't expect that Mary who are caring and loving as the author described at the beginning of the story have the courage to kill her husband and after she killed her husband she even made up a story for the alibi to avoid going to jail. What you didn't like about the story? 
I really like the storyline to the slaughter, but I didn't like the way the author and the story because it seemed hanging, and me as a reader still not satisfied that Mary didn't receive her punishment yet, and I also wanted to know what happened to her child. In your opinion, why does Mary kill her husband? I think after she received the news about the divorce, Mary thinks she can perhaps carry on as if nothing has happened. She takes the frozen leg of lamb she, and she plans to cook for them. And her husband tells her that he's going out in rich and in a state of shock, Mary hit Patrick over the head with their supper. What is the actual meaning of lamb to the slaughter? The meaning is that when someone going somewhere without knowing danger ahead, and it can also mean when someone who usually innocent going into a situation where they where they having the urge to kill someone. In your opinion, why did the detectives not suspect Mary as the murderer? In my opinion, the detective not suspect Mary as the murderer because Mary was pregnant, which make her an unlikely and sympathetic individual in such a condition. Then, the police officers all knew her as a very sweet and familiar person because her husband worked on the force and after the murder, she had convinced herself so perfectly about her story that even she believed it. Besides that, she had an attack lie by because of her very feeble trip to the grocer and she got the officers to eat the murder weapon. What is the setting in the story? The setting of Lamb of the Slaughter takes place primarily inside the Melanie home and likely during the early 1950s series as the story was published in 1953 using a setting that is more or less unspecified creates a sense of familiarity for the reader, drawing them closer to the characters and implying that the story's event could take place just about everywhere. In your opinion, why does Mary insist the detective to eat the leg of lamb? In my opinion, Mary asked the detective to eat the leg of lamb she had made for her husband and even when they turned it down, she insists that they eat this. This insistence is important beyond simply the idea that it is the murder weapon. By having the detective eat the lamb, they had destroyed the weapon, which will make them look stupid even if they later understand. This will discourage them from thinking of it as a weapon. In addition, because she ensures they have seen the murder weapon rather than hiding it, she defies the expectation as most criminals hide the weapon. Does Mary Melanie guilty for killing her own husband? In my opinion, I think she felt guilty in the sense that she didn't commit the sins of killing her own husband. However, the murder was not remotely premeditated and Mary was in an extraordinary dissociated and shocked state when she, without even thinking, killed her husband with a leg of a lamb. Should Mary get away from the crime? I think Mary cannot get away from uh, killing her own husband because as clever as a squirrel is at jumping, it eventually falls to the ground. No matter how clever Mary burned the evidence from the detective, eventually her crime will expose us and she will end up in the jail for sure.